Hello, everyone. Today's lesson will be about the atomic models. Have you ever wondered how atomic models evolved? In 400 BC, Democritus stated that everything is made up of very tiny particles that you cannot break down into smaller pieces anymore. He called it atomus. In Greek, atomus means indivisible. It was followed by John Dalton in 1803 when he envisioned the atom a solid, hard sphere like a billiard ball. He called it the billiard ball model. In 1897, Joseph John Thompson experimented on the cathode ray tube. He noticed that exposing a negative field deflects the stream of particles and exposing a positive field attracts it. This suggests the existence of negatively charged particles in the stream. Because of this, J.J. Thompson proposed that the atom is made up of positive sphere with negatively charged particles embedded in it. He called it the plum pudding model because of the resemblance. Well, some call it chocolate chip cookie model. In this comparison, the chocolate chips are the negatively charged particles, which we now know as electrons. This was revised in 1911 when Ernest Rutherford wondered about Thompson's model, so he used it in his experiment. In his gold foil experiment, he directed a beam of positive alpha particles to a thin piece of gold foil. He obtained the following observations. Most particles just pass through the gold foil, and some particles are deflected once in a while. From this, he made the following conclusions. First, since most of the particles just pass through, that suggests that most of the atom is an empty space where the electrons are found. Second, the deflection suggests that a positive alpha particle hits a positive center known as nucleus. From the plum pudding model, which was proven to be wrong, Brother Ford proposed the nuclear model that describes the atom as mostly an empty space with a small but massive nucleus. This positively charged particle found in the nucleus is now known as the proton. In 1932, James Chadwick conducted an experiment that proved that there is another particle found in the nucleus that is neither positive nor negative. He called it neutron. I hope you all learned today. See you next time. Did you like this video? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn.